hey 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 welcome to my channel my name is Paula and in today's video I want to share with you my unrealistic luxury designer handbag wish list the plan is to talk with you about bags I'm currently obsessed with but for a reason or another they are not on my like actual luxury wish list they are just kind of on the back burner but I'm still like obsessed with them and that makes this really unrealistic because currently with my current uh, salary level and financial situation I don't have a plan to purchase any of these unless obviously I find something amazing uh, on the pre-owned or I win on the lottery or that I would inherit a lot of money I mean you never know what happens uh, so it's good that there are some unrealistic dreams going out there right or then this is just an excuse to talk about about bags so please don't take this as something that I'm like currently planning on spending my money on because it is not that. This is just bags I'm obsessed with, but that didn't make it for my actual more realistic wish list, which is not even that realistic because I don't know if I'm even like going to buy all of them. It's more like items that I'm actually considering and being interested in. More let's stop this kind of rabble and look at some bags the first one that has been like popping in and out of my more realistic wish list and then this kind of unrealistic one is the loewe puzzle bag and i can't believe that i am standing here in a situation where i'm saying that i'm interested in that bag because when it came out i thought it looked weird i didn't like how it had these angles and the kind of puzzle pieces i just I didn't really care for the aesthetics. Well, what do you know? Uh, maybe my style develops and evolves to certain directions or then, I don't know, I just see it everywhere. Hopefully it's more the first one and not so much the second one. You never know. But it has truly like grown on me. The practicality in that bag, I'm sorry if you hear the banging by the way, there has been a lot of snow in here and there are a big trucks blowing it blow plowing it out from the streets and I can't really help it because this is the only time I have time to film. I'm really sorry. The window is closed though, but it's still coming through because there's a lot of snow. Um but yeah, so I've just during the past let's say year, two years or so I really started to like it and now we're at the point where I like it so much that I mean if I could find it with a great price point I don't know if I would say no um, mostly I'm interested in black boring me uh, but you never know uh, I would definitely like like the small size I think the mini is cute but it doesn't have the same like slouchiness which the bigger sizes have uh, although funny enough the slouchiness was the one that like put me off of it because I thought it was like really really odd that it had like corners and yet it was slouchy and it lost, lost its shape and whatnot so <laughs> yeah times change so this is definitely like if I would suddenly have a lot of money these would be the first ones that I would like go in and buy <laughs> probably the weirdest thing I think that Dior Book Tote, especially in the medium size, is beautiful. Dior has so many beautiful uh, decorations on them. And as far as I've understood, they are hand sewn on them. Beautiful. Um, I mean, this is definitely something that I'm not going to drop my money on without winning the lottery or something like that, because it is still a canvas open tote that costs now nearly 3000 euros it's just pff, lost on me i would no way have that much <laughs> a usability for that type of bag but if i would suddenly become a millionaire absolutely i would go in and buy one <laughs> in a heartbeat in a beautiful um style probably not the oblique one but more maybe something a bit more like different and unique i don't know because this is like completely a dream um because it's just that style of bag in that price point i don't know when i would even wear it but i would definitely love it because i'm so obsessed thirdly and this is gonna be a weird one uh it's that goyard 
Plumet wallet or what's it called? I'm sorry for the pronunciation. I, I can't really believe that after my St. Louis toad purchase experience, I'm still looking into Goyard in itself, but I think this would be super practical. It looks odd, like it looks, I mean, the, the inspiration for this came from the small pouch that comes with the Goyard bag. And if you've been here for a while, you might remember that when I bought my St. Louis tote, I made a video of the pouch itself, which is completely useless. It's just, I don't even understand the concept of how it has been sewn. And uh, then I find this plumet thing, which has taken inspiration from that small, awkward pouch. What is wrong with me? I don't know. But maybe with my current like super laid back lifestyle with the dog, I just, I'm very drawn to these type of super easy, relaxed, no fuss, no worry type of things that I can just throw off my shoulder, put in like my, my phone and keys and maybe a card if I'm going to use money somewhere and just head out the door. And that's my life now. So maybe that has impacted it. I don't know. But I have watched the videos of this Plumet thingy. And yeah, I think this would be something that if I would have the money, I would go for it. Why? I don't know. Uh, in my like uh, obsession and unrealistic expectations, I'm of course looking at the black one. Because why would I venture into colors even if it would be unrealistic. <laughs> I'm odd because I do love the green from Goyard, which is super strange because I'm not drawn to green that much otherwise, but they have these like just pouches in different sizes. And I'm kind of like, I mean, if I would be going to Goyard because there's no way I would be buying these online, nor from the pre-owned because that's just like ridiculous what the price point is. If you want to know about my experience about buying Goyard online, I will link my video here. I wouldn't do that either, but that would mean that I would have to go to the boutique. And hmm, yeah, I, I can't believe I'm still dreaming of more Goyard pieces. Luckily, this is just unrealistic obsessions, right? Fourth and final, Really, really, I can't stress it enough how unrealistic luxury wish list piece this is. But I would definitely be interested in some kind of luxury luggage. Pff, like, why am I even saying that out loud? That is odd. Um, maybe I'm just like kind of obsessed with Louis Vuitton being from like the travel side of things. I love my, my pouches and, and all of that. But I'm not really dreaming of a Louis Vuitton, like this type of, uh, what, what are these called? These small luggages that you can bring up to the plane. Uh, I don't, that's not really what I'm thinking about. But Goyard has lovely pieces. <laughs> Why? Um, and even though I don't have like a specific bag model in mind, I'm pretty sure if I would be a millionaire, you betcha that my luggages would be from some kind of luxury line. Maybe even from Louis Vuitton, but at this point, I'm not really dreaming of that print, but something else. Um, and I don't even know why I would need that because my current, like this type of carry, carry on piece uh, that has uh, the wheels under it, I bought it from my local, like, massive supermarket thingy, and I maybe paid 50 euros for it, and it has worked for many years so far, and it has traveled with me to many places, and it's still okay. So I don't even know why I would justify for myself if I would be a millionaire or <laughs> inherit some money or whatnot, that I would be willing to spend thousands of money on a luggage piece when I'm currently super happy with my 50 euro one. I don't know, mind is crazy, but that's what makes this unrealistic because I don't really see this would ever happen. But I kind of, I wanted to confess that I am also this person who is dreaming 
of traveling in style, I guess. I don't know. Um, but there are certain like people I've been following on Instagram and they have beautiful sets of luggage which are not from Louis Vuitton. And that kind of really draws me in. So definitely if I would be a millionaire and all of that, I would go in for this hardcore. Well, not maybe hardcore, maybe just buy the one rolling piece because I'm still me and I'm a lame person. Okay, I'm pretty happy that this list only has four, which means that I'm kind of balanced. No, that's not the right word. But even when I'm being unrealistic, I'm kind of holding myself back. So maybe if I would suddenly receive so much money that I couldn't even understand it, I wouldn't go crazy. I probably would go a bit crazy and buy a lot more things than was currently on this video. <laughs> because why wouldn't I? Um, but yeah, so I just thought to share my unrealistic uh, handbag dreams something that I'm very obsessed with. Some are even a bit more unrealistic than the others, but it is just all for fun, right? Do you have any obsessions that you know that you, you kind of won't purchase or something will need to definitely happen with the price point, but that you are still like admiring uh, that are kind of unrealistic dreams for you? I would be so curious to know What's on your mind? What's on your unrealistic list? So let's continue down in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.